from Starkville, Mississippi. It came down to the final second and final shot. Rendere Weatherspoon buries the three-pointer, and Mississippi State comes back from a 17-point deficit to beat Vanderbilt. John Saunders along with John Sunbold, and the game at no point looked like it would come down to a final shot like that, even when Mississippi State were making those runs. Yeah, totally dominated by Vanderbilt until they, they didn't do much offensively because Mississippi State was outstanding. You know, they started guarding, and then they started pushing. I think Craig Swart, he changed the whole thing. He was aggressive. Now all of a sudden, teammates are aggressive. And they were attacking on the offensive end. They were making shots. They were skipping the ball. They were scoring inside. They were hitting that shots outside. And, it, and they defended. Vandy couldn't score. And when you do that, you let a team get close. And on this last possession, the man they call Q, Weatherspoon knocked it in deep in the court. You mentioned Sword. I also thought I.J. Reddy yeah, was a different. huge spark plug, knocking down a big three. And then, of course, he had the assist on that final shot. And, you know, to have the wherewithal at the end to know there's enough time to kick it over. Uh, when you're down by 17, again, and not winning games, it's easy to give up. It's easy to be done. But uh, credit this Bulldog team, the coaching staff, and the players. What a win. The 33-15 to 15 run against the best defensive team in the SEC. You look at field goal percentages. So a huge win for the young Bulldogs. 75-74, and who knows what this may cost Vanderbilt.